innovation is an economic necessity. See, governments should not be tempted by the argument that as a catch-up countries, they only need to imitate and incorporate foreign ideas. They need to come up with their own model in order to sustain economic growth. Sea region is still vulnerable from an economic point of view and to overcome this, the governments, the business community, universities need to work together to improve the environment for innovation. There is no other choice for C to innovate and to stagnate. As the uh, only sustainable growth is based on innovation. G strongly believes that those companies and economies that invest in innovation today will find themselves in a much better position in the future and will be at least one step ahead of the others. It is about bringing creative ideas to life. It's about connecting knowledge with technology. But first and foremost, any innovative idea should be linked to performance and the service it may give to others, to quote Thomas Edison, G. Founder. For a company, innovation should trigger improvements in efficiency, quality, productivity. It should increase market share. It should mean value added to customers. Whether it's about a new product, a new marketing method, a new organizational model, or new business practices. For a country, innovation means creating an environment which stimulates economic and social development, adopting a set of policies which ensure sustainable growth and an investment climate, defining the role of institutions, education, the quality of governance of public administration, the presence of economic opportunities, the agility which an economy adopts existing technologies to enhance the productivity of its industries. In short, innovation is about progress and prosperity. Technological change is taking place in an ever-increasing pace and it's vital both for companies and countries. Without a common engagement and synergies, without a bridge between public research and commercialization of new ideas by businesses, no major results are registered. Today, we continue to invest heavily in R&D and innovation, and between 2000 and 2010, we invested more than 34 billion in R&D globally, and we plan to invest another 10 billion until 2015. We have researchers across the world working together to bring new technologies to all of the G businesses, energy, aviation, healthcare, etc.